Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Xamarin and iOS bindings. Our viewer is currently creating bindings for the EDQ library and has run into a problem with accessing an enum defined in their structs.cs file. Let's dive into the details of this challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the issue you're facing with the Xamarin bindings for the EDQ library. The error indicates that the type EDQ result does not exist in the type EDQ. This problem often arises due to the way enums are defined and accessed in the binding files. In your case, the enum edq result is defined in the structs cs file, but it seems that the generated code in eqdelegate.cs cannot find it. One potential solution is to ensure that the structs.cs file is correctly included in the binding process. Make sure its build action is set to OBJC binding core source, which you have already done. Next, verify that the namespace is consistent across your files. Both the enum and the delegate should be in the same namespace, which is EDQ in your case. Lastly, if the issue persists, consider commenting out the protocol model attributes temporarily to see if that resolves the error. This can help isolate the problem. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue arises because you have both a namespace and an interface named EDQ. This causes a conflict when trying to reference types within that namespace. To resolve this, it's best to avoid having the same name for both the namespace and the type. You can rename either one. If renaming isn't an option, you can reference the type using the global namespace prefix. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.